Welcome to the SAP Business One Integration Framework Series. In this session, we are going to go over how we can install and use Notepad++ as our XML editor in order to edit XML files and XSLT files. So first, we will have to download Notepad++ and install it. You can easily search Google for Notepad++ and um, after we download, you can run the installer. So let's run the installer. Click OK on the language, click Next, and go all the way through the wizard. And click Finish. Uh, and if you didn't change anything, it will open your Notepad++ application. Now next, what we'll have to do is to enable the XML plugin so we'll be able to edit or at least a better view and edit XML files. So if you go to the uh, plugins menu, plugin manager and show plugin manager, uh, this will show you all the available plugins available to download in regards to Notepad++. Notepad++. So if you go all the way down, you will see here there is an XML tools plugin. You can click on the checkbox here and click on install. Okay, restart. And now you should have the XML tools here. See they have a bunch of XML uh, functions that will allow you to better uh, view and even edit um, XML files. Other than that, you'll be able to see and test X XSLT transformations as well. So, um, just to check that, let's uh, try to open um, a file. In our case, because I do have CyberDuck, let's try to connect to my B1i server using CyberDuck. And then edit the file, an XML file, using Notepad++. So let's do that. And you see here, we have to go to Scenario Design, as I said. Double click on this one. We go to the Scenario Design. And here, let's select one of the flows I have, for example, I have my um, this scenario, let's open one of the XML, uh, XSLT files, for example, let's open this one, right click, click on edit, you can select Notepad++ as the editor, and that's it, so you can see that you have an XML file, you can always go to the plugin, clock to XML, uh, XML tools, and then select pretty print with line breaks, and it's going to actually uh, uh, organize the file based on the XML structure. So thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this session.